Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with another car discussion video. And this is, should you consider the Jetta GLI or should you consider, say, the Jetta SEL like I have, or maybe the Step Up, the SEL Premium, or the, uh, or the S or the SE? What's, what's the big difference here? So the GLI is a little bit different animal. It, uh, it has a... It has a bigger, it's got like 228 horsepower. Whereas this Jetta, this SEL, and the S and the SE and the SEL Premium, to my knowledge, they all have, I think, around, I think around 155 horsepower. So, you know, for something on the road where you're, especially when you're on the highway, you're wanting to pass people, you want that extra kick, this is very capable. Now, again, I, if you don't know my background, I, I sold my 2020 Audi A4 in favor of this 2021 uh, Jetta SEL. And it was a financial move because I could sell, I was able to sell my Audi used for basically what, you know, right around, if maybe not a little bit more, what I'd paid brand new for it about two years pre previously. So I needed to downgrade, but, you know, I wanted something that was fuel efficient, something where the tires will last. Ultimately for me, and I like uh, Vag Volkswagen Audi Group vehicles, but the uh you know ultimately for me it was a financial move so that's that's why i went with the with the sel now you know this video is talking about the gli so if you were in a different situation you just want a you know a, a stronger performing vehicle than the gli with that extra horsepower would be where you would probably want to go you know better passing power um, admittedly and again i may be a little bit biased because i came from the 2020 audi a4 but this 155 horsepower feels a little bit lacking. Now around town, it's fine. And that's, that's what I use. This is a daily driver. I use it to go from point A to point B. I've got all my creature comforts in it. Check out my other videos for the 2021 Jetta SEL Premium to see all of that in action. But you know, this is my daily driver. So the fact that it doesn't uh, have the sports car-like performance that I would get from say the GLI, or like I had from my previous Audi, 2020 Audi A4, that's not a big deal. You know, I want good miles per gallon. I want tires that are gonna last. These tires could potentially last to around 50,000 miles. My Audi at about 14,000 miles, it was about time to change them. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, and that's something to keep, keep in consideration, take into consideration too. The GLI, the tires may wear more quick, potentially wear more quickly than say the, uh, you know, the Jetta SEL or the Jetta SEL Premium. So it's just something to be aware of there. And then also the miles per gallon. The miles per gallon on this, and you know, I'm, I'm just talking about real world that I've noticed. I've observed over 40 miles per gallon already with this uh, 2021 Jetta SEL. But you know, you may observe something different, you know, maybe better, maybe slightly, you know, it's all a matter of how you drive. But on paper, the GLI, its, uh, its fuel economy is, is great, but it's significantly lower than the uh, Jetta, S, Jetta SEL or the Jetta SEL Premium. So, you know, a few things to take into consideration. So if you gotta have that performance, you wanna have that extra horsepower, you're definitely gonna wanna go GLI. But if you can adapt and drive a lower horsepower vehicle, it's gonna be lighter on the, lighter on the billfold. You know, that's, you know, less, better fuel economy, less fill ups, saving money there. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of what you want. And again, just, just being totally honest and, and I've, I've had a lot of sports cars from the Volkswagen Audi group badge. I've had, uh, I've had the Passat. I've had the Audi A3. I've had the Audi A4. And now I've got the Volkswagen uh, uh, Jetta SEL. So I will say that of those vehicles, this one has been the least powerful, but it's also the best fuel economy out of all those vehicles. So it's a matter of what you're looking for. Are you looking for performance or are you looking for fuel economy? And, and I'll tell you, you know, just be totally transparent about this, that, you know, this at 155 horsepower, yes, I do realize when I'm on the road that I've got, a, that I've got less horses under the hood. You know, I'd be a fool if I tried to say, oh, I, I don't notice a difference. I do notice a difference. And it's actually quite a radical difference, but is it a difference to where I feel like this car, this uh, SEL Jetta 
can't perform? Not at all. I mean, around town, again, around town, I mean, unless you're passing people going through town, which you probably shouldn't for safety, but you're probably not gonna notice a difference. When you get on the highway and you push that pedal down because you wanna pass somebody, you're gonna notice that this is a little bit more sluggish than, than say the other vehicles that I just mentioned. So, you know, it's not gonna give you, it's not gonna give you the sports car like handling, the sports car like speed that you're gonna get from the others. But where I do wanna stop there and, and not, not try to say, oh, well, you know, you're probably watching this video like, man, that guy, he just told me what I need to do. You know, I don't need the, I don't need the Jetta SEL. That's not what I'm gonna say at all. Cause what I'm gonna say is that when you drive this car, you still have that German handling, you know. You don't feel like you're riding on rails like you do with an Audi. You don't have that feeling or, or a Mercedes or a BMW. I've owned all those vehicles as well. You don't have quite that connection with the road that you get with those, but you have that connection. This is definitely a German engineered vehicle. You have that connection with the road. And I guess the best way to describe it, if you if you've driven Japanese vehicles, they're very smooth rides, very comfortable rides, very luxurious rides. But with most Japanese vehicle use, vehicles, you kind of get that, I just want to call it kind of a spongy feel, kind of a floaty feel. This, you still get that, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm driving on rails type feel. And that's the feel I like. Again, a matter of personal preference. But I do want to say that that feel is not the, uh, the same feel that you would get with say an Audi where you got the, you know, really aggressive sports car feel. So not, not a, not a bad thing. I'm just, you know, I like to keep things honest with these videos and you know, you're obviously shopping for a vehicle because you're watching this and it, it's a great car. I mean, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to be one where you get in. It's like, Whoa, this is a rocket ship. It's not going to be that at all. But it's going to be something you get in when you're going around town. It's like, man, I can't believe I got this for the price I got it for. And all these niceties on the interior and the handling is nice. And, you know, ergonomically, everything inside is great. You know, check out my other videos where you see where I fold down the back seats, too. There's plenty of storage options, tons of technology when you step into the SEL or the SEL premium trim. But the GLI, back to the GLI, I only consider the GLI if you, if you demand that additional performance. Again, with the sacrifice of fuel economy, it's still an amazingly fuel efficient vehicle, don't, don't get me wrong. But if you want the best fuel economy and the best, you know, and the creature comforts and all of that, it's hard to go wrong, wrong with the SEL. And again, I would personally st stray away from the SEL premium just because I feel that the added cost for real leather instead of leatherette, for me, it's not worth it. But you may feel differently, but yeah, the GLI, I just think do you really need that extra horsepower and or are you just is this just going to be a daily driver around town where you want to get the best fuel economy possible that's only only you can answer that so i hope this video helped be sure to subscribe when you do ring that bell icon to be notified whenever i post another video and check out all my other volkswagen jetta and audi videos too thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.